My name is Ellen O'Callaghan and I'll be taking EU Law on the FE1 Preparatory Course at City Colleges. EU Law is known to be one of the most difficult exams on the FE1 syllabus. Now, while EU Law itself is quite complex and the syllabus is vast, there's no need to worry because it's quite manageable. When we look at the past papers, we see consistency and predictability. Now, while the examiner has been changed quite recently, the more historic past papers do still reflect the current past papers in structure and format. The exam itself is a three-hour exam and you're requested to attempt five out of eight questions. What we do here at City College is provide you with a concise and detailed and focused manual, tutorials and lectures. You get a chance to watch your lectures by streaming them online in person and you can review them on demand. At City Colleges we encourage you to ask questions as much as you like and if you've taken the decision to watch the lecture from your home you're more than welcome to ask a question online which I can answer in class. Outside of class time you may have questions as you're doing revision and you're always encouraged to contact me via email or text message because not only do you study during your lecture period but you'll also be studying throughout the time and especially coming up to the exam and we definitely encourage you to make contact with your lecturers and I'll always be available to take your questions. In relation then to preparing for the exam, what we do at City Colleges is we look at the past papers, we look at what's been asked, how it's been asked, when it's been asked and what the examiner is looking for and we have a structured guide how to approach the exam. If I had to give you some tips as to how to approach the EU exam, what I'd say in the first instance is be familiar with the entire syllabus. This is not a course where you can cherry pick things. The examiner rewards students who are able to have an overview of the whole course rather than knowing one or two topics in particular. What I suggest to students when they sit down to their EU law exam is to focus first on an essay style question, one which lends itself to prepared answers. Such questions in the EU law syllabus would be on judicial review, preliminary reference or state compliance. Now a question like this will give you confidence at the beginning of your exam. You'll be able to fill out a pre-prepared question at the beginning, build your confidence and settle into your exam. Following on from that then, a question that's frequently asked is directives and direct effect. Now this question often comes up as an essay style question. And while from year to year, the factors and the characters of that question do change, students are able to prepare a comprehensive answer to this question, which will allow them to fill that in and slip it into the exam that they're taking and simply adjust the character name of directives and things like that. A question that some people struggle with is the question on institutions. The institution question is a hard question. It's a question I suggest leaving to the end of the exam. And the reason for that is a proper answer to this question and in order to do well in this question, you need to give a very, very detailed answer. Given that you're under time constraints, it suggests that you leave this question over to the end of your paper, that you might approach it when you have the time, knowing that you've completed your other questions. Another issue that arises for students when doing the FE1 EU law exams is that students might approach a question in relation to freedoms and they might believe that the freedoms come up every year which in fact is not the case. Students need to know all the freedoms and be aware that sometimes they come up as part of a question and not all of a question and not simply to rely on this. Finally, very frequently of course there's a case law question. And this question allows students to attempt three case notes out of eight. Now, while this is a good and useful question and students can prepare for this to a certain extent, students must be aware that they need to know more than the basic facts. They need to stand out from the crowd in this question in order to do well. What students shouldn't do is see a question on the topic and simply empty out their mind and everything on that topic. They need to have a focus to the case. So caution is advised in relation to that question. I look forward to teaching you the EU Law FE1 course at City Colleges and look forward to hearing from you.